The threat continues farther south and east of us. Things are really firing up on the radar. Here in northeast Ohio, though, we're kind of on the nice uh, down low, right? Partly cloudy skies in the area, some high clouds filtering in from time to time, temperatures getting down into the low 70s by the midnight hour. This is the bigger picture now, uh, area-wide. You can see the really nasty weather off to the south of us, but other than just a few little scattered sprinkles and light showers that are still popping up in the area, we are actually relatively dry at this point. One little shower headed toward the Willard area. We've got some showers that are headed down into northern sections of Carroll County as well. And Carroll County earlier really kind of saw that particular thunderstorm go through. Now this storm right now, when you see that purple box, that purple color, that's a tornado warning. But when you see it outlined in black, that means it is a tornado that has been observed. Right now there is a tornado on the ground as of 608 that is going through the Wellsville area. This has been really interesting to watch. This is the storm that went through Carroll County, by the way. Uh, so there's Wells right there. And this is that area that they are keeping a very close eye on as far as uh, the tornado threat right Right now that will continue to move over toward the state line area. It's going to stay south of Pittsburgh. So if you've got family over in the Berg, uh, they should be safe. But there are some other showers and thunderstorms headed down toward Uniontown, uh, Pennsylvania, and then even down toward Garrett County, Maryland. The uh, rumbly weather is worst in south central Ohio, now south of the Columbus area. That's going to head down toward Washington Courthouse and some of those locations. Meanwhile, farther north, things are calming down nicely. I want to overlay our watches and warnings right right now and you can see here's our uh, severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings uh, in Ohio and Pennsylvania and then over toward the nation's capital they've got a really nasty evening going on too farther north though it is severe clear and that is the air that is moving in a couple of fronts will be dropping in we like cold fronts when it's been hot and humid because that should typically mean we will be getting some relief from all of that. And as we go through the day tomorrow, clearer air will gradually be filtering in as the dry air is also going to be filtering. As a matter of fact, the muggy meter drops nicely as we head through Friday and Saturday. So a great start to the weekend. We'll start to feel the humidity creeping back up as we head through much of next week. But the big difference here is that the temperatures are going to be much cooler. Here's your National Design Mar hour by hour forecast. We still have a chance for these little scattered showers as we go through the evening. Midnight temperatures in the low 70s. By daybreak tomorrow, we're in the mid 60s. Probably going to see mostly cloudy skies with an isolated shower chance. But as the day goes on, I think we're going to get to see more and more sunshine. And note here, our wind direction is now out of the north northeast. So that's importing that cooler, drier air. And that'll set us up for a gorgeous Friday night and as we mentioned, a fantastic start to the weekend. Here's your Union Home Mortgage forecast, low 70s tomorrow. I don't know about you at home, uh, but this is turn off the air conditioning and open the windows uh, kind of weather for us. 55 by Saturday morning, that is a refreshing, cool start to the day. By afternoon Saturday, 78 degrees, absolute perfection. We're going to stay in the 70s through Sunday with a few rain chances sneaking through, but then drier weather gets back in here Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday as those temperatures start to climb back up Russ of course Sunday August 1st closing out July with a cool temperatures it looks like yeah not exactly the dog days of uh, summer to start the month right there to come I'm sure mm. there's always a butt as Betsy Kling said that's it thank you mm -hmm.